When the school started, it, it basically addressed primarily the, the economically challenged uh, portion of society. Today, what we want to do now is create people that have the ability to you know, self-starter, entrepreneur, CEOs. So we're shifting the vision to something a little wider. First of all, what we did is we converted all the classrooms to, into a multimedia. So every classroom had its own monitor. But after one year that we also realized that it still was not, not enough because it's still it's a 40 to 1 ratio. What we needed to see was a 1 to 1. So that's where the iPad came in. We can only access the internet in school through the computer lab, which we can't always go to. I'm thankful that I can now do my research, review notes, and submit my assignments even when I'm just sitting along the corridor. Getting everyone in the same boat with regard to the iPad program was initially a challenge. Many of our teachers, who are used to the traditional methods of teaching, were hesitant to embrace the new technology. But the good thing is, they are very willing to learn and relearn through the school and the faculty commitment. To make this program successful, the teachers spend summer trainings and familiarizing themselves with their iPad. Up until now, we are still holding weekly meetings with teachers so they can share their newfound apps and best practices to other teachers to use in their classes. It's really about having a community that's dedicated to building up each other. So I think a lot of parents are still skeptical, but I think in a way because of our many years of uh, what we've done in the school, a lot of parents basically just had faith in our direction. They trusted us completely with their kids. And, and this is what I ever also emphasize to the teachers. You know, look, we're dealing with a lot of trust here. This program has to succeed. There's no other option. We even conducted seminars for the parents so that they will also appreciate the benefits of this program. It's also to reassure them that there are policies to be implemented to facilitate proper use of the devices. We use the iPad in class every day because of the many applications I can use to complement my lectures. I find that makes students excel if you let them showcase their individual strengths in class. My favorite subject is computer class because we do a lot of cool things there. Using my Mac, I made an app called Pad Paper, which you can use to take notes. I initially put it in the App Store just for fun, but now a lot of my classmates and friends are already using it. Physics is one of my favorite subjects. I like it even more now with the iPad because even when I don't understand some of the terms, I can quickly look up its meaning on Safari. And I think that's how we, we are redesigning our brand of education. We constantly look for a better way, not just to deliver uh, the message, but also to, for the kids to absorb the message and actually use it. With the iPad, it's instantaneous. There's no having to go back. You, you can learn it right there. In my science class, we study the different elements. It is very easy now to go through all the elements and understand their properties using my iPad just by touching and swiping. I like using iMessage on the iPad to communicate with my groupmates, especially when we're doing a project. We can brainstorm even when we're not together. I can also take a photo and send it right away using iMessage.
What I like most about the iPad is that it's so versatile. Whether the child is good at writing, drawing, musically inclined, or good at programming, the device allows him or her to express it effortlessly. And over the few months that we've been using the iPad here in FU, we've really seen some big improvements. We have seen dramatic improvement in the performance of the students this year. We've raised the required grade to get honors, yet the number of students achieving this feat actually even doubled. We couldn't be happier with how the program has turned out. We're looking at that, that our bell curve has gone up. And that's where we see the effort and investment is, is well worth it. And we're, we're convinced that what we thought up about two years ago, this is the right direction. And I, and I think if, here in this country, if we have the will, if everybody has the will, not just the will to outdo the next person, but the will to, to do more so that everyone can appreciate whatever we've done, that's the way to go. And you know, resisting devices like the iPad is not the way to go. You have to embrace it. You want them to use it as a tool, not just a trophy. You don't go around waving, look, I have an iPad, and you don't. You go around waving, look what we've done with this thing. Look what that kid achieved. We're very happy with the results.